Hey, I'm Shaw from worshipguitarskills.com and in today's lesson we'll be learning how to create some melodic movement using some cool modern sounding open string shapes on the guitar and of course you can use them on the electric as well. Now if you stick around until the end of the video I'll let you know how you can get a downloadable PDF that outlines all of the chord progressions, all of the shapes and all of the rhythms that we'll be looking at in this video. Now we're going to be using a 4156 chord progression in the key of E and in addition to learning some really cool chords like this A major 9, A major 7 sharp 11, E5, E major 7th, B add 4, B sus 4, C sharp minor 7th and C sharp minor 11th You'll also discover how you can use these new voicings to create some cool melodic movement in your playing. And remember, at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can get access to the PDF that outlines everything we are going to look at right now. All right, so our first progression will be A, E, B, C sharp minor. All right, so those chords are cool, but what if you want to spice them up a little bit? So instead of A like this, I've actually got three variations of that A that I can play. First of all, I have my A major 7th like this, actually A major 9. Then I have an A major 7 sharp 11. And then I have a normal A, but just with a different fingering. And then instead of E like this, I can play an E5 up here. I can also play an E major 7th. Instead of a B bar chord, I can play B sus 4 or B add 4. And then instead of a C sharp minor bar chord, I can play C sharp minor 7th like this, C sharp minor 9th, and C sharp minor 11. Alright, so now. With these new chord shapes and a basic strumming pattern, this is what this progression will sound like. Right, so that's pretty cool because now you've got some interesting chord shapes along with some cool melodic movement. So the next time you're playing a progression in the key of E making use of these typical 1, 6, 4, 5 chord shapes, try adding some of these melodic movement shapes into your playing just to spice things up a little bit. So I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and that you learned something cool. And like I said in the beginning, if you'd like to get a PDF download, of this lesson just click the link in the description box below it's going to ask for your name and email address and then i can send it right over to your inbox so you can have all of these shapes ready and available in your next practice session now finally guys i'd like to keep doing these free lessons so if you enjoyed this you learned something cool go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments section what else you'd like to learn and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications whenever I release new free lessons just like the one you've watched.